Hello, teacher. Me parece que alguien tenía el, el, un dispositivo y se oía interferencia. Okay, y creo que era Gerson. Ok, ok. Ok, I'm sorry, Gerson. I had a mute. Gerson, yes. So I'm here, class. How are you today? How are you? Fine. Right. You? You're fine. I'm, I'm Hello, good. Energy. I'm good. You now I'm ready for this class. Let me ask you, what is today's date? Who can tell me the date? Today is... What? What is today's date? ¿Cuál es la fecha de ahora? Today's date. Let's practice what we have learned. Today is my fourth. Today is my fourth. Remember, yesterday we were practicing how to say dates in English. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday? May 4th. May 4th. May 4th. That's okay. Acceptable. Very good. Class, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? My birthday is on... May night. Okay, on May night. May night. Very good. Any other who wants to participate? When is your birthday? I was born February 26th. Excellent. Very good job. Okay. So this my is birthday, your My birthday is um March 11th. March 11th. So, yes, this is just a review so you can practice what we were learning here. Class, cameras on, please. I have so many students with your cameras off. Remember, we need to have cameras on all the time and your microphones off. Cameras on, microphones off. That's okay. So, you know, the same from yesterday, it's about to start raining here. So, in the case that I have problems with my internet connection, just wait for the teacher. I will be back, okay? Está empezando a llover acá. Si tengo problemas, me vuelvo a conectar. Don't worry. Voy a estar acá de regreso. So, Igual acá en Santana está lloviendo, pero okay. recio. O sea, de repente wow. me saca el internet. Exactly, eso pasa siempre. Alguien más que tenga ese mismo inconveniente que está lloviendo fuerte, ¿no? Yo, teacher. Sí. Very good. Sí. Fernando, está well. lloviendo bien fuerte también aquí. Se acaba rato se yo, no, acaba. yo no podré encender la cámara, teacher. No voy a poder porque tengo problemas bastante. Ok, gracias por avisarme, Fernando. Thank you. Bien, teacher, me está fallando la señal. No puedo poder encender la cámara. Ok, Irma y Marina, bien, está justificado. Siempre que quede justificado, ok, se vea en nuestro video que hay una razón específica por la que no puede encender la cámara. En este caso, la lluvia. Pero el resto de la clase, cameras on, please. And participating. So, I already have 21 students. Let's start with the attendance list. So, here we go. In today's class, uh, you know, we need to move on. We need to be in a hurry, you know, with some topics because tomorrow we are going to have the last class for the first week, okay? Remember, uh, uh, one of you was asking me that in the chat, we were given some different information. Ok, déjenme decirlo en español. Uno de ustedes me decía aquí en el chat, y es cierto, nos brindaron cierta información sobre la programación o el progreso deseado en cada semana. Semana número uno aparece section number one and section number two, right? Y sí, eso se nos dio por el movimiento de día que tuvimos o el cambio en nuestra segunda semana por el asueto. 
Entonces, para esta semana, ¿cuál es nuestra meta para el día de mañana? What is our goal? Section number one and section number two. two. Very good. Two. Some of you told me that you have already completed those exercises. Excellent job, class. Let me go and check the attendances right now. Here we go. Today is May 5th. Here we go. No, May 4th. Aleli Concepción. Present. Ana y Stephanie. Present. César Alexander. Present, teacher. Elvis Aníbal. Present. Gerson Vladimir. Okay, I guess no. Fernando Arturo. Present. Gladys Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Iris Elena. Here, Miss. Okay. Irma Raquel. Present, teacher. Jessica Marielos. Present, teacher. Josué Neftalí. Present. Okay. Present. Kimberly Janet. Okay, thank you. Kimberly Janet. No. Maria Lucila. I'm here. Marina del Carmen. Present. Okay, very good. Nelson Rolando. Present. Nuria and Karina. Present teacher. Pablo Reyes. <clears throat> Pablo Reyes. Present. Very good. Rebeca Eunice. Present teacher. Rosemary Beatriz. Do I have Rosemary? Roxana Beatriz. Present teacher. Very good. Sonia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Walter Alexander. Present. Wilson Alejandro. Yes, no, do I have Wilson? Okay. Jessica Marilu. Present teacher. Zaira Jamilet. Present. Very good. So, this is the attendance list for today's class. Class, here we go. Let's go to the platform. Yesterday, we were practicing some exercises from section number one. Let's see what we still have. I guess we still have like one more exercise. But you know, the knowledge checked is not that difficult. With the content that we already covered, you can easily go and complete those exercises. Meaning, knowledge checked. It's what are these people going to do? Let's watch the video right now. Okay. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No. I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes. We're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? 
Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about pronunciation. Pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. And if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. Okay, here we go. Do you still listen? ¿Cómo me escuchan? ¿Me escuchan bien? Yes? No? Se le escucha cortado. Oh, no. Yo le escucho bien. Okay, no sé okay. si los demás. Espero que me escuchen bien. So, look, this is the same exercise as we have in the video. And we are going to practice today the usage of the future. Actions plans in the future with be going to. Look at the examples that we have here. We have the examples using interrogative sentences, questions. So the first question is, are you going to do anything this weekend? And we have two replies, an affirmative reply and a negative reply. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Or the complete sentence. Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. So look at this one. For this type of questions, we can have the complete form and the short form. Forma completa y forma corta para responder. Look at this example. Is Rosa going to cook dinner for you? Is Rosa going to cook dinner for you? We have two types of replies. We can answer in the short form, miren la forma corta para responder, sería, yes, she is, no, she's not. O la forma completa, yes, she is, she's going to cook a special dinner, and no, she's not, she's going to order takeout. So these are some examples using going to. If you look at these pictures right now, can you tell me what are these people going to do this weekend? What are these people going to do this weekend? Number one, picture number one. What is he going to do this weekend? In picture number one. He's going to ride a bike. Very weekend. good. He's going to ride a bike. Number two. What is he going to do this weekend? Picture number two. He going to swimming. Uh -huh. He's going swimming. Look at this girl in picture number three. What is she going to do? She's going to shopping. Ah, she's going shopping. Very good. She's going to she, shopping. Or she's going to go shopping. It's okay as well. Number she's four. What are they going to do? Going to play soccer. I was saying. Okay, maybe they are <laughs> going to play soccer or to watch. Play soccer, huh? Watch a soccer watch. game. The soccer play. Watch. Watch exactly. Exactly. Yes, right? exactly. How about in number five? What are they going to do in number five? She's going to study. Oh, she's going to study. Very good. Number six. Oh, look at yes. this other girl. What is she going typing. to do? Typing. 
She's going to dance on the party. She's going to dance in the party. Very good. In the party. <laughs> yes. Number Very seven. Good. What is he going to do? What is this boy going to do? He's play. going to play. Going to play. Play. Battery. Battery. No. Drum. Tocando, tocando batería, Drum. bro. Drums. Ajá, drum. Drums. Drums. Battery. Batería, no. Battery. No, no decimos battery. Decimos drums. Los tambores. Drums. drums. Se llama ese instrumento. Drums. En plural. He's going drums. Drum. To play the drums. He's going, He's going to, to play, play, play the play drums. drums. Mm -hmm. Así se le dice la batería, drums en plural, singular, tambor, plural, batería. Drums. drums. And, okay. Exactly. So you see, this is new vocabulary. And number eight, what are they going to do this weekend? We're going to watch the movies. They are. Going they, to are. Watch they, the are. Movie. they are. They are going to they watch a movie. movie. This is plural. This is plural. So, these are affirmative sentences. Miren, ahí están las respuestas. Great. Muy bien a lo que ustedes dijeron. Miren, he's going to swim or he's going to go swimming. Look at this girl. She's going to go shopping. Very shopping. good. All right. In number four. They are going yeah, to watch going a, to soccer, watch a game. soccer game. Oh, Very right. good. Exactly. That was right. Very good. <laughs> Let me see this one. No, number number five. Number five. She's going to, she's do going the work. to work. Oh, she's not studying. Yeah. She's going she's to studying. work. Yes, tell me, Wilson. She's going to go to work. She's going to work. Okay, she's tell me. Sí, ya, ok, ahorita actualizamos la asistencia. Gracias, Wilson, por avisarme. Muy bien. Que la, la, cinco, la cinco da tres, tres opciones: typing, study, uh, the work. No, no, ni idea, porque no se ve right. cómo que estoy trabajando. Right. 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 Yeah, look at number six. Yes. Oh, number six. Uh, Sorry. Uh, uh, picture number five. Maybe, uh, maybe this is a uh, uh, cry, uh, cry, cry. Escribir. Right. Right. Okay. Typing. Right. No. Typing. Typing is redactar. Escribiendo. Mm -hmm. Con máquina. Typing. Exactly. Right. 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 Typing. Oh my God. Typing. Mm -hmm. All right. Lo que está Onward. haciendo ella es writing. It's writing. Writing. Yes, writing. writing. Okay. And number six. Miren, en number six, no me había dado cuenta que hay más gente. Number six, they are going to dance. They are going to dance. They are going okay. to go dancing. That's okay. Number seven. He's going to play. He's going to play the drums. The ah, drums. Okay. Drums, very good job. And the last one, they are going to going go to go to movies. movies. Right. Very good. Yes, they're going to watch the movie. Mm -hmm. Or they are going to watch the movie. So if you go back to the platform and we look at this exercise that we have right here, it's right here. You are going to have like a similar exercise. What are these people going to do? We have the same question. Tell me, Josué. Eh, teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. yes. ¿Qué significa going to? Going en to. In sí. Spanish. The verb Spanish. go. Look, we have this verb. Tenemos un verbo. ¿Qué es? Verbo. Voy go. A. El verbo. Go. ¿Qué significa Ear. go? Es Ear. el... Uy, qué pequeñito Ear. está. Let me make it bigger. Es el verbo ir. Entonces, cuando lo conjugamos con ing, se convierte en... Yendo. 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 O going. Luego tenemos un infinitivo, que es hacer. 
Entonces sería haciendo, algo progresivo. Haciendo. ¿Qué van a hacer? Voy a hacer. ¿Qué van a hacer? Mira, aquí lo tenemos en español también. Translation form. What are these people going to do? O ¿qué van a hacer? Son. Esta es una pregunta que ocupamos para futuro. Plans for the future. What are these people going to do? Van sí. a hacer. So, that is the okay. translation. Very good. And Gracias. look at the exercise. In this exercise, you have a listening activity. You just need to listen. And then you are going to identify what is Michelle going to do? What is Kevin going to do? The same for Robert and Jane. This is the exercise that we have we're going to. After that, look at this one. We are still continue talking about going to. This is just a pronunciation exercise, okay? How do we pronounce going to? So let's click on play right now so we can practice. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future Very plans good. by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned. Okay, so look at this one. What do we have right here? We have some exercises. Ah, let me erase this. This is just pronunciation exercise. How are we going to sound natural? ¿Cómo sonamos más natural cuando decimos going to? Going to is acceptable. Está aceptable si decimos going to. Are you going to have a party? But we can also have this other pronunciation to sound natural. Gonna. Are you gonna have a party? Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Gonna. Esta es una reducción que le hacen en pronunciación. Es bien común escuchar esto. En lugar de decir going to, we say gonna. So, let's try to practice right now. Are you gonna have a party? Are you gonna go to a restaurant? So those are the questions. And we can also have the same type of pronunciation for the replies. Okay. Podemos usarlo para ambos, para preguntas, para respuestas. En lugar de decir going to, we can say gonna. Are you gonna have a party? No. Are, are you gonna I'm, have a party? Very good. No, I'm gonna go out with my friend. You see? So let's practice. Cesar, can you read the first example? Are you gonna have a party? Huh? No, I, I gonna go to with uh, a friend. Very good job. Gladys, can you try with number two? This one. Okay, Aleli, please. I guess Gladys is having problems. Are you gonna go to the restaurant? Yes. Yes, we're gonna go to Nick Coffee. Excellent pronunciation. Very good job. Who wants to try? Wilson, do you want to try? 
Oh, Wilson, with this one. Okay. No, I'm going to go with my friend. With a friend. One more time. Can you read it again, please? Otra vez, por favor. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Okay, but Wilson, ahorita estamos practicando the reduction. En lugar de decir going to, practiquemos diciendo gonna. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. Go, please. Are you going to have a party? Excellent. No. I'm gonna go out with a friend. Very good. Let's have the last participant for this exercise. Let me ask uh, Anna Stephanie, can you try please? Are you gonna have a party? Okay. No. I'm gonna go. No, I'm gonna out with a friend. Okay, very good job. Questions about this? This is just, look, this is just like extra information. So you can practice the reduction of going to. The reduction. Question for this exercise. Question. Está claro. Eso es solo información extra. Tell me, Elvi. Uh, this reduction is only pronunciation or I can write too. We can write too. Okay. Look at the example. Let me show you the example. Oh, okay. We We are gonna go shopping. We are gonna go shopping. We can write it as well. También lo podemos escribir, okay? We are gonna go shopping. Very good. Or we can write it. We are going to go We are going to go shopping or we are going we are going to go shopping. So. That's okay. Any other questions? Preguntas, chicos. Questions. No? No questions. Sure. Tell me. Yes. I have, <laughs> I have one question. No. Uh, for example, can I can I say uh, I wanna miss you? Example. No. I wanna miss you. I want I I I going to miss you. It's the same. It's, Very good. It's that's like, okay. That's okay. Okay. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. Yes, I'm gonna miss you. Yes, that's okay. I'm gonna miss you. And we can also have, tenemos otras, otras, no solo el going to se puede reducir, también el want to. I want you. Break free. I wanna go shopping. Yes, hay otras tipos de reductions in English. This is just an example, okay? I'm gonna, I'm wanna, that this is the same as I want to go shopping. So, okay? Similar type of reductions. Ya vieron, podemos utilizarlo no solo con going to, sino también con want to y hay otros también. But 
this is a different topic. For today, we only have the use of going to in a short way, okay? You can pronounce it to sound more natural. So this is a very nice exercise, I like it. You can practice, you know, with many other um, examples. So let's continue to the platform. Let's go back. After this exercise, we are going to have an exercise that is very similar to the one that we were having yesterday. Yesterday, we were practicing holidays in El Salvador. But this video in the platform is about holidays in the US or in United States. Okay, so let's go and watch this video as well. Here we go. One. The goal is to use. Okay, Hi, everyone. Again. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the U.S. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day. February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Okay, let me click on post. Minute. Yesterday we were practicing this, so it's a very similar exercise. So in this case, we are not talking about holidays in El Salvador, but holidays in the United States. So let me see if you remember how to express dates or special dates in English. Let me ask you, when do people in United States celebrate New Year's Day. When do they celebrate New Year's Day? Class? On January 1st. Oh, New Year's Day is on? January 1st. Very good. So, let me ask for volunteers. Saira, when do they celebrate Valentine's Day? Uh, Valentine's uh, February. Aha, uh -huh. class, how do you say 14 <laughs> in original numbers in English? 14. 14. 14. Yes, so, Saira, once again, Valentine's Day. Give me that information, please. In February 14. Is it February or February? February. There we go. Excellent job. Roxana Beatriz, tell me about Independence Day in the U.S. Independence Day is on July 4th. Excellent information. Yes, Aleli wants to participate. Tell me about Halloween. Is Valentine? No, no. Halloween. 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 Yes. Please. October um, did it first. Okay. Now, can you give me the complete information? Complete sentence. Um, day Halloween is um, October 31st. Very good job. Rosemary, can you tell me the information for Thanksgiving Day in the United States? Once again, I guess we cannot hear you. Mm. 
No, we cannot. Okay, so don't worry. Try to fix your microphone and let me ask for some other volunteers. Pablo, tell me the information for Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day in the US. Uh, perdón, teacher, me repite. Thanksgiving, tell me the information for that holiday. When do they celebrate Thanksgiving? ¿Cuándo celebran Thanksgiving? Híjole, no sé. En Estados Unidos. Yes, can you look at the picture? Do you see the picture? Do you see the screen? No? Okay. Ah, ok, okay. okay sí, okay. sí, sí. Estoy en el teléfono, perdón. Ah, ok, don't worry, don't worry. Sí. Eh, es, es, es on the uh, fourth Tuesday in November. Very good information. Excellent job. Very good job, Pablo. Mi disculpas, mi disculpas. No, don't worry, don't worry. Cesar, tell me the information for Christmas. Christmas Day. It is on December 25th. Very good job. Class, you see? We already have this information. We already know how to express date. Si se fijan, solo es un repaso de todo lo que hemos visto. Okay, so let's go to this one. Look at this. Uh, this is the last uh, video. An exercise from section number one. So then we can move on to section number two. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. I guess. Um, we already know about this one. So let's see. Vamos a omitir este porque solo es vocabulary. This one. What are you going to do on your birthday? Let's go to this exercise. This is a very nice uh, exercise because it's a listening and reading exercise. Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. Okay. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Okay, let me ask about these two girls. They already have plans for their birthday. Can you tell me some of the plans for Elena? What is she going to do on her birthday? What is she going to do on her birthday? Let me make it bigger. Yes, Walter, go ahead, please. Se ve igual. She's gonna, she's gonna go out with some friends. She's gonna go out with some friends. Excellent. Who else wants to participate? Let me see. Yes, Wilson. Siempre de Elena. Yes, Elena. Um, Okay, so let me ask you about the second girl. 
Yang Xin Shi. Um, she going to have a family ceremony. Exactly. Wow. So look at this one. Elena, she's going to have a party, right? But in this case, this other girl, she's going to have a family ceremony. Wow. Quite the opposite, right? Let's listen to the information about the two um, two other descriptions. Here Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. So let me go back a little bit and tell right, me about Mr. and Mrs. Aoki. Who is going to um, to be celebrating 60? Is this Mr. or Mrs.? Mrs. Mr. She's going to turn 60, right? Very good, imagine. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. So what are they going to do for this celebration? Mm -hmm. What are their plans for this celebration? Is the beginning of a new life, the okay. color the red? It's the, it's the beginning of a new life. Very good. So, in other words, what are they going to do? That's what I want to listen. They are going to... They are going to a uh, beginning of the new life. Okay, so they are going to celebrate the beginning of a new life. Now it's a sentence with going to. Tell me uh, about... The press uh, the present is the color, the, uh, the real life is the color red? Yes, it is. For them, it is color red. Very good. And look, uh, children, uh, most of the time they give a red as a red as a present, right? Something red. So interesting tradition and celebration. Now, tell me about this last guy's description, Philip. Jolie, what is he going to do and why? He's going to be be uh, very very next week. Okay, perfect. So, what is he going to do? What are his plans for this celebration? <laughs> I'm going to invite three very good friends. He's going to invite three very good friends? Where? At the friend out of diners. Oh, they are going out for dinner. Very good. That dinners. Dinner, excellent. So tell me, what are your plans for this coming weekend? What are your plans? for Saturday or for Sunday? What are you going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer este? Sábado o domingo? Usemos el going to ahorita. I am going to... I'm going to, go, uh, going to work. I'm going to work, excellent. Sunday, Sunday. Oh, uh, Sunday, um, Sunday uh, all weekend. <laughs> all weekend. I'm going to fa visit family. Mm -hmm. To visit your family. Sonia, what are you going to do? 
I gonna to um, um, go go uh, church. Okay, you're gonna go do chores. Excellent. Está utilizando yeah. gonna. Me encanta. Okay. Y muy buen plan. Perfecto. Rosemary, go ahead, please. What are you going to do? Um, I guess your microphone is not working, Rosemary. O oh, si le escuchan, o soy yo quien no escucha a Rosemary. No, right? We cannot hear. No, no okay. se escucha. I don't know why. Okay, and Cesar, tell me your plans. What? Tell me about <laughs> your plans. I, I gonna do, to play my song. You're gonna play a in song? In my house. Okay. Okay. In my house. Very good. Example of the use of going to. Tell me, it is Elena. What are you going to do on Saturday or on Sunday? On Saturday, I'm going to the university. Oh, really? You have classes? Yeah. Wow. So she's gonna go to the university. Maria Lucila, what are your plans? I'm going I'm going to eat my family. Go out and eat with your family. Okay, interesting. Let me ask Jessica. Jessica Montes, what are you going to do? I go to the church. You're going to church. Excellent plan. Harrison, what are you going to do? No? Okay, I guess he's having problem. And um, Jessica Marilu, tell me about your plans for this coming Saturday. I'm gonna go to sleep early. You're gonna sleep, oh, okay. Interesting information. So if you notice the last exercise, the ultimo knowledge checked for section number one, it's about the reading. Aquí está, miren. La misma información que discutimos es el último exercise. So you can go and practice. This is section number one. Section number two is interesting as well. Why, teacher? Because we have some new vocabulary. Look, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. Al finalizar esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para discutir. Las partes del cuerpo son muchas, créanme, pero vamos a ver la mayoría. Let's watch this video. And then we are going to practice vocabulary. Here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth. Chin. Back. Shoulder chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, Feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing 
this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Okay, as you see, he was recommending us to learn the vocabulary. Let me go so I can show you the same exercise, but with the with my book. So we can learn this is an interactive exercise with many parts of the body. Look at this one. Here we have, let's start with this guy, parts of the body. Let's listen and then we are going to practice. Here we go. Unit 12, how do you feel? Page 78, exercise one, word power, parts of the body. I. Okay, I. Hair. Okay, I hair. This is the first example. I hair. Look. Aquí estamos. This is the vocabulary. Let's continue. I hair. Head. Head. Ear. Neck. Tooth. Teeth, chin, throat, mouth, nose, eyebrow. Questions in pronunciations. From this group or from the first picture, any question in pronunciation? Tell me, Alele. Hell. Head is hell. Frente. Oh, eso es for head. For head. Let me write it to you. Excellent. Okay. For. Teacher, can you repeat los dientes? For head is frente. Esa no la tenemos, pero agreguémosla. For head. Dientes. Singular. We have. Tut. Tut. The TH sound at the end. So, and for plural, we have bit, bit. Singular, tut. Plural, bit. Any other question? No? So, let's continue. Here we go. Back. Back. Shoulder. Shoulder. Chest. Arm. Stomach. Mm -hmm. Hip. Wrist. Leg. Knee. Ankle. Questions about pronunciation, or which one do you want me to repeat? Or is it clear the vocabulary? Back, shoulder, take a look at this one. Chest. We are just going to use this word, chest, for men. Not for girls, not for women. Chest is for men. And for girls, for ladies, we are going to use breast. Al pecho, para hombres se le llama chest. Y para mujeres se le llama breast. So be careful with that. No me vayan a salir con his chest or his breast quiero decir no no me confundan es la única bueno hay varias partes del cuerpo que son exclusivas para hombre y mujer o vocabulario mejor dicho chest is just for men 
breast it's for women let's continue let's finish with this exercise toe toe toes foot feet singular and plural toe and toes a los dedos del pie no se les nombra igual que los dedos de la mano ¿Cómo les llamamos entonces a los dedos de las manos fingers excellent finger 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 is for your hand toe or toes is for your foot. foot singular or feet plural okay let's do the same like this one finger or fingers for your hand toe toes is for your foot or feet is it clear yes right let's continue elbow finger fingers thumb hand and look at this other example fingers what this thumb aquí vamos Bien. Tom se le llama al dedo ¿cómo le llamamos en español? this one el pulgar. dedo pulgar. pulgar y a los demás le llamamos fingers okay. Tom pulgar. it has a specific name this one Tom and the other four are finger. Okay, thumb and finger. Let me show you. This is your thumb. These are fingers, these four. Thumb and fingers. Okay? Thumb and fingers. All right. Okay, very good job. Mm -hmm. Questions Tom, about like... this one. Let's listen the last time. Oh these parts of the body so you can practice here we go unit 12. eye hair hair head head ear ear neck tooth teeth Chin, chin, throat, mouth, nose, eyebrow, back, shoulder, okay. chest, arm, mm -hmm. stomach, hip. Wrist, leg, knee, ankle, 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 toe, toes, foot, feet, elbow, finger, fingers. Thumb, hand. Okay, so this is just the presentation of the vocabulary. In tomorrow's class, we're going to have an exercise with, with this vocabulary, okay? So questions, comments about this new topic? Today teacher, we were practicing, tell me, I'm listening, tell me. Uh, teacher, uh, air bro. Eyebrow es este, es la pestaña o es la ceja, disculpe. Eyebrows, 
eyebrow. Sí, esa es la pestaña o la ceja. Está aquí, miren, eyebrow es la ceja. Ceja. En the hip cadera. Hip cadera. Uh -huh. ¿Saben que eso es interesante? De ahí viene el hip hop. Hip hop. ¿Han escuchado eso? Hop es un salto. Hip cadera. Hip hop, hip -hop. sí. Uh -huh. Yo bailé hip hop cuando era joven. Viene de la cadera, hip. Very good. Excellent. Any other question? Preguntas, chicos. No? Todo bien. Yo tengo una teacher. teacher oh, eh, su nombre no lo escuché. Elena Argueta. Elena. Es verdad. Elena Argueta. Olvidé, siempre sí. les muestro qué clase vamos. Hoy esta clase es la número, let me see, number three, right? Class number three. Three. If we don't have questions, we are going to stop the class here. And tomorrow we are going to continue practicing this vocabulary, okay? So class, thank you so much for joining this class. We are going to meet you tomorrow, okay? Have a great Good night. night, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night for everyone. Please stand up also, teacher. Bye-bye. I did. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Good night to you. Okay. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. <laughs>